gearing yourself more towards performance than just aesthetics. And so for me, we're talking about two schools of thoughts here, more of an older school traditional approach to weight training where you kind of pick a muscle and you isolate it, or you do more of the compound movements where you work all your muscles at once. Now let's go back to isolation. It's a lot better to isolate than to do nothing at all. Let me make that clear. But in order to isolate, you're really targeting smaller muscles and there's not a high degree of transferability to the field. Uh, you may be able to make muscles more well, you know, the muscle belly is bigger that way. So if you're into aesthetics, that might be the route you go. But I'm telling you, if you're a performance hungry athlete like myself, there's a better way. And so the compound movements are going to be your best bet. Why? Because compound movements recruit a lot more muscles to the party. And when done properly, you're talking a lot more benefits, including intensity, as well as some benefits as far as your nervous system or coordination, accuracy, balance but also the, the endocrine system, which is your hormones, where for we as guys especially, we're talking additional testosterone, we're talking additional human growth hormone, IGF naturally, that's really important for even the aging archer. We're looking at maintaining muscle, not losing muscle. We're looking at decreasing fat cells and we're looking at getting stronger. And those are really important for, for we as archers and bow hunters. And so the movement I want you to incorporate this month is Drum roll, the hang squat clean. Very technical movement, uses a lot of muscles, but I'm telling you, as far as all the muscles on your backside, hamstrings, butt, lower back, all your back muscles, this is the movement. It does have a high degree of technicality, so I'm gonna have a warning right out front. You will have to learn how to do the movement first before you add a lot of weight, as well as you'll be able to execute the movement for a period of time, a couple weeks, Make sure the technique is good before you progress to the overload. And then when you get good, you get to really throw on some big boy weight and see some amazing things happen to your body. So the, the movement goes like this. So to do a hang power, you're going to go ahead and set up weight on your heels. You're going to keep your shins pretty vertical, shoulders slightly over the bar. You're going to stand up with your shoulders and butt rising together equally while maintaining strength or structural integrity in your lower lumbar. Once the bar gets to your hips, you're gonna go ahead and slide the bar down to the top of your knee. Make sure your shoulders are in front of the bar and your hamstrings are at max tension. From there, you'll stand dragging the bar up against your thigh using all your back muscles. Once you hit the pockets or your pants pockets, that's where you'll go up on your toes, which is known as triple extension at the ankle, knee, and hip. A very powerful, violent hip extension. That will send the barbell vertically or a vertical propulsion. From there, you will shrug simultaneously, adding and guiding the bar to stay close to your body, close to your midline. Once the bar reaches its apex in height or becomes weightless, you will do a third pull and pull yourself underneath the bar, receiving it at the shoulder clavicle in a fingertip grip or at least elbows parallel to the floor. As you go down, your knees will shoot out, basically acting as shock absorbers if you land in the bottom of a front squat. As you stand up in your front squat, you're recruiting your whole midline to stay strong and rigid as well as the legs, the back, and uh, a lot of the core muscles as well. So now that we have this movement, kind of a good idea of what it looks like, we've seen it in slow-mo, let's go ahead and talk about reps and sets. You can add, you know, anywhere between three to five reps is gonna be a good place to start on a movement this complex. And you can add rest in between sets. But just doing this a few times a week is really gonna add to your overall strength prowess. I don't isolate muscles, in fact, I don't remember the last time I did a body part workout day, but I'm telling you, this has made all the muscles on my backside really strong, probably bigger than uh, they were a few years ago, just from doing movements like this, and I feel that additional power, that power that's going to transfer to being able to have that extra burst when you need to get up to the top of the mountain before the sun comes up. That muscle that you need to pull that animal out of the field and load up a hefty backpack or manipulate big elk or moose quarters, deadlift them off the ground, on your back, back to the trailhead. These are, these are things that you're gonna be glad that you did some compound movements that are gonna have a huge high degree of transferability into the field. So add the hang squat clean to your arsenal, incorporate a few times a week, and I guarantee you're gonna see a huge difference in your overall strength, power, and work capacity. Thanks for watching Hoist Get Serious Get Fit. I'm Dan Staten, we'll catch you next time.